And here is Georgian art, ancient to modern. The Department of Old Georgian Art exhibits only the art samples of the Middle Ages. In the Treasury Department, a visitor will become familiar with the material found by archaeologists from ancient times to the pre-Christian era, and in the next hall, with art from the Middle Ages. In the expositions of those halls of the museum, the visitor can watch the development of chasing art from its origin to the middle of the 19th century. New and modern Georgian art originated when European art entered Georgia. This is the beginning of the 17th, 18th, and of course 19th and 20th centuries. The museum also displays art from West Europe and Russia, and it has a rather rich collection of Oriental works as well. The greatest charm and wealth of Tbilisi is the way it brings together traditional religions, various cultures, ethnic groups, and East and West in a harmonious and tolerant atmosphere. Siona Cathedral, which was built from the 6th to 9th centuries, and Anshasati Basilica are splendid. Trinity Cathedral is the greatest Orthodox church in Georgia. It is the 21st century monument and can be seen from anywhere in Tbilisi. It's been one year and I've already fallen in love with this city. The weather in Tbilisi is always pleasant, neither too cold in the winter nor too hot in the summer. There are many trees, many churches and quite a few castles here. Tbilisi, like all of Georgia, is always a good host to its guests. However, to its many enemies, Tbilisi was adamantly unwelcoming. These qualities are embodied in the monument of the 20th century, the mother of Kartli, who bears a weapon in the one hand and a cup of wine in the other. Tbilisi is a picturesque city with very kind people. We have the best impressions. We are fortunate we have visited the city at least once in our life. Once a year, Tbilisi celebrates Tbilisoba, the day of the city. People from all the regions of Georgia come to Tbilisi to see concerts of artists, shows, and many other festivities.